Well, on the other hand, though, and I do want to, in case we have teachers actually use this, um, I do want to raise the other items that they do use to kind of try and do communications in that region with Jefferson Davis's infamous camels. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is one of my favorite episodes in American history, and it, it, I, I laugh because it's, it's in some ways sort of ridiculous and cartoonish that Jefferson Davis imported about 100 camels to the American Southwest because- Where did they actually they come be, from? I don't think I remember. They, they came from most of the Middle East. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, because they had been used effectively by Napoleon and his campaigns there, and, or mostly in Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, Jefferson Davis thought that he could replicate some of that success and make make basically a mounted infantry uh, to combat uh, the Apaches and Comanches in the Southwest. I mean, it, this, this never materialized for a whole lot of reasons. One, camels right. are expensive and they're hard to get to the United States. Um, uh, two, they're not particularly pleasant to deal with. They smell bad and they shed and they spit and they stamp. Um, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's yet another example of how slaveholding Southerners were willing to sort of think globally and think very, very creatively mm -hmm. about yeah. the ways that they could influence um, the, the shape and the development of the far Southwest and ultimately how they could extend slavery into the region. Because part of this Camel Corps, the, the objective that Jefferson Davis only told his friends about was you, you subdue native people in the region mm -hmm. and then you're able to populate it and you populate it with white Southerners with their chattel property. Right. I will say when you said like, consider we have said talked about counterfactuals, there's that, I forget where it was published, um, counterfactual argument of like um, the, the CME's king promising elephants to Lincoln and somebody actually spun like a story of what would happen if Elephants were at the Battle of Gettysburg. Okay. Uh, maybe something like that we can you can do of like what would have happened if there had been camels fighting in the Apache Wars or against the Comanches in the Southwest. Yeah, and uh, camels did make cameo appearances in the Civil War. Uh, yeah. So they were in Los Angeles when it was being garrisoned by federal troops to sort of suppress secessionist sympathies there. And they were, you know, you, you see them crop up in a couple units um, on both sides of the conflict. Um, they're, they're sort of curiosities because what's a camel yeah. doing in this, you know, this Confederate regiment, but they were there. <laughs> yeah. And for a long time, apparently. Yeah, 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 exactly. They're, I, th I think their their offspring were seen roaming around the southwestern deserts for decades after yeah uh, after the war. <laughs>